While we consider stars, we likely envision small, glossy things in the evening sky. Essentially, this is the means by which we see them from down here in the world. However, stars like Betelgeuse are something completely different. Truth be told, one of the greatest stars, Creepy Crawly Jew, happens to be a lot bigger than our sun. For a really long time, this star has perplexed researchers. Yet, as of late, something more disturbing has been going on with Betelgeuse, making researchers and other well-informed people extremely concerned. Join us in this video as we investigate the dramatic news about Betelgeuse, its looming annihilation, as predicted by the James Webb Space Telescope, and how this new development will influence our galaxy and our lives here on Earth. As explained by physicist Michio Kaku, Creepy Crawly Jew is an infinite marvel, a huge star that has charmed cosmologists for such a long time. A Greek astronomer named Tony was the first to find it. This star is so colossal that it can be seen in the evening sky from Earth, especially during winter. If you're into astronomy, you've likely seen or heard about this star. It is the rosy orange star that marks the upper left shoulder of the Orion constellation. So, you see, this star is ancient and, so far, one of the brightest stars in the night sky. However, one thing about Betelgeuse's brilliance is that it doesn't remain consistent. Rather, it varies. This fluctuation is one of the interesting properties of this star. But it isn't the only one. Let's check out some of Creepy Crawly Jew's specific properties. Most of the stars you see in the evening sky are a long way from Earth. The closest star is 4.2 light years away from Earth. If you don't understand how the term light year relates to distance, picture it this way. Consider moving at the speed of light for an entire year. It's been demonstrated that light can cover a distance of 186,000 miles per second. Consequently, the distance light can cover in a year is equivalent to one light year. If you figure it out, you'll have billions of miles. So, when we say the closest star is 4.2 light years away, it means it is billions of miles from Earth. However, some stars are even farther, and Creepy Crawly Jew is one of them. Creepy Crawly Jew is found roughly 600 light years from Earth. So if you were to travel to it at the speed of light, it would still take 600 years. We can't move that quickly, not even our fastest spacecraft can. However, this star can still shine so brightly in our sky. If you're wondering how Betelgeuse can be so brilliant despite its distance, that's due to its unique characteristics, like size and brilliance. Creepy Crawly Jew is around 500 times bigger than our sun, and its radius is believed to be multiple times that of the sun. Unfortunately, it appears as a disk in space when using complex telescopes, while other stars appear as small points of light. This disappearance is thought to be an effect of the reactions at the outer layers of its atmosphere. In terms of mass, Betelgeuse measures around 12 to 19 solar masses. A solar mass is the standard unit of mass used by astronomers. One solar mass is equivalent to 2 times 10 to the power of 30 kg. Researchers can't decide the exact mass of Betelgeuse since there are no other planetary bodies orbiting around it for comparison, and obviously we can't measure it directly from here. The fact that this star is somewhere multiple times heavier than our sun makes it fascinating. The brightness of Creepy Crawly Jew ranges from magnitude plus zero to plus 1.6. In more natural terms, Betelgeuse is 16,000 times more brilliant than our sun. No wonder it was nicknamed a red giant. However, the brightness of Betelgeuse doesn't stay steady. It varies. This change in brightness is due to its pulsations. In other words, Betelgeuse expands and contracts. When it expands, it becomes brighter, but when it contracts, it darkens. This process can last from 10 to 100 days or even longer. One unique property of Betelgeuse is that its surface is covered in dark magnetic spots. The magnetic field in these areas is far stronger than at the normal surface. However, the downside is that these strong magnetic spots restrict the flow of hot gas to the star's outer surface, making the star cooler in these regions. The fact that Betelgeuse has many of these spots, compared to our sun, explains why it is cooler than our sun despite its size and brightness. The sun also has dark magnetic spots, but those on Betelgeuse are much larger and more numerous. To give you an idea, the spots on Betelgeuse can be twice as big as the Earth. Betelgeuse also boasts a magnetic field that is a thousand times stronger than that of the Sun. This field is why, when viewed through a telescope, 
the gases on the surface of Betelgeuse appear to be in spirals or arcs. Betelgeuse has a surface temperature of around 3,500 Kelvin. This low temperature contributes to the low energy emitted by the star and its faint red color. Betelgeuse is a red star, but it wasn't always red. It was yellowish about 100,000 years ago, much like our sun. Over the years, its color began to shift to orange-red, and then, around 10,000 years ago, it slowly started turning into the red star we know today. This fact has led scientists to believe that the star is aging. Betelgeuse emits as much as 10,000 times more energy than the sun. It would have been a fierce competitor to Earth's sun if it weren't so far away. Also, the fact that Betelgeuse, which is 600 light-years away, can still be seen and identified with the naked eye at night is quite remarkable. Our sun is only 8.3 light minutes from Earth, and that is why it is so powerful. If Betelgeuse were just a little closer, we would also be able to see it during the daytime. But if it were to replace the sun, it would consume or displace the Earth and the other four planets close to it because of its enormous size. Additionally, even if it could match the sun's energy output, it still produces more radiation. Creepy Crawly Jew, also known as Betelgeuse, is a massive star located in the Orion constellation, roughly 600 light-years from Earth. Its enormous size is one of its most striking features. It is about 500 times larger than our Sun in terms of radius and could easily encompass the orbit of Jupiter if placed at the center of our solar system. This colossal size allows Betelgeuse to appear as a visible disk, rather than a point of light, when viewed through powerful telescopes. Unlike most other stars, Betelgeuse is not the most massive star. Its mass ranges from about 12 to 19 times that of the Sun, depending on various estimates. One of Betelgeuse's most fascinating characteristics is its variability in brightness. Unlike our Sun, which maintains a fairly stable brightness over time, Betelgeuse undergoes irregular fluctuations in its brightness. These variations are attributed to pulsations within the star, caused by changes in its internal processes. At its brightest, Betelgeuse can shine 16,000 times more brightly than our Sun. However, during dimming episodes, its brightness can drop significantly. These fluctuations have been a subject of intense study among astronomers. Observations over the centuries have documented these changes, providing valuable insights into the star's life cycle and physical properties. Betelgeuse's surface temperature is relatively low for a star of its size, around 3,500 Kelvin. This gives it a distinct reddish-orange hue typical of red giant stars. Approaching the end of its life cycle, Betelgeuse is in a late stage of stellar evolution, where it has depleted the hydrogen fuel in its core and begun fusing heavier elements. This fusion process generates energy and causes the star to expand outward. The star's atmosphere is rich in complex physical phenomena. It displays dark magnetic spots on its surface, which are significantly larger than those found on our sun. These spots are regions of intense magnetic activity that hinder the flow of hot gases from deeper within the star to its surface, contributing to cooler regions on the star. Betelgeuse has been known and observed by various civilizations for centuries. Ancient astronomers from different cultures, including the Greeks, Egyptians, and Chinese, recorded its position and noted its brightness and color. In ancient Arabic cosmology, Betelgeuse's name, Yad al Jauza, meaning the hand of Orion, reflected its prominence in the constellation. Its visibility and variability have inspired numerous myths and cultural references throughout history. In recent years, Betelgeuse has garnered increased scientific attention due to its dimming episodes, which began around late 2019 and continued into mid-2021. During these periods, the star's brightness dropped to unprecedented levels, sparking speculation among astronomers about its impending fate. Some of the most talked-about theories involve the possibility of Betelgeuse undergoing a supernova event in the near future. Supernovae are explosive events that occur when massive stars exhaust their nuclear fuel and undergo gravitational collapse. If Betelgeuse were to go supernova, it would release a tremendous amount of energy and become one of the brightest objects in the night sky, visible even during the day. The potential supernova of Betelgeuse has captured public imagination and scientific interest due to its proximity and visibility.
astronomers continue to monitor the star closely using telescopes and space-based observatories to gather data on its behavior and evolution. Betelgeuse's status as a red supergiant provides valuable insights into the later stages of stellar evolution, including the fusion of heavier elements in the star's core and the eventual dispersal of these elements into the interstellar medium. In conclusion, Betelgeuse's variability, historical significance, and potential for a supernova make it an intriguing subject for ongoing and future investigations. Studying Betelgeuse helps astronomers better understand stellar evolution, cosmic dynamics, and the complex processes that shape our universe. When we look up at the night sky, most of us see stars as tiny, twinkling dots of light far away. But when it comes to stars like Betelgeuse, we're not just talking about little points of light. This star, part of the constellation Orion, is one of the largest and most famous stars visible from Earth, and it has a story that's nothing short of cosmic drama. Colossal star, Betelgeuse, located roughly 600 light-years from Earth, is a red supergiant star. This classification tells us that it's in the later stages of its stellar life cycle. While we can only imagine the vast size of the star, it's estimated that its diameter is around 500 times that of the Sun. To help visualize this, imagine placing Betelgeuse at the center of our solar system. It would stretch out beyond the orbit of Jupiter, dwarfing our Sun. In fact, despite its enormous size, Betelgeuse's brightness varies significantly. It's about 16,000 times more luminous than the Sun at its brightest. However, during some periods, the star dims considerably, leading to scientific discussions and much public speculation. This dimming, seen most dramatically in late 2019, set off a wave of interest and intrigue about what might happen next. Could it be on the verge of becoming a supernova? The mystery of its dimming. Astronomers and astrophysicists have long been fascinated by Betelgeuse's behavior. The dimming that occurred over a period of several months in 2019 and 2020 was unprecedented. In fact, Betelgeuse became one of the dimmest stars in Orion for the first time in recorded history. While this got people excited about the possibility that the star was preparing to go supernova, a massive explosion that occurs when a star runs out of fuel, it turns out the cause of the dimming wasn't that simple. Recent research suggests that the dimming was likely caused by a dust cloud that formed around the star. Betelgeuse is constantly expelling material into space, and at certain times, large volumes of this material can form clumps of dust. When this dust cloud obscured our view of the star, it made Betelgeuse appear much dimmer than usual. While this cloud of dust may have temporarily diminished its brightness, the star itself is still very much alive, and there's no direct evidence that it's on the brink of exploding just yet. Life cycle of Betelgeuse, from red giant to supernova. To fully understand Betelgeuse's importance, we need to look at its life cycle. Like all stars, Betelgeuse was born out of a giant molecular cloud of gas and dust. For most of its life, it's been fusing hydrogen into helium, just like our sun does today. But Betelgeuse is much more massive than our sun. It has exhausted the hydrogen in its core and is now fusing helium and heavier elements, such as carbon and oxygen. This process creates even more energy causing the star to expand massively, which is why it has swelled into a red supergiant. Stars like Betelgeuse end their lives in explosive supernovae. When Betelgeuse can no longer sustain fusion in its core, gravity will cause it to collapse inward. This collapse will trigger an enormous explosion that will outshine the entire galaxy for a brief period. If Betelgeuse were to go supernova, it would be visible during the day from Earth, even though it's 600 light years away. This kind of event is an incredible spectacle, and it would release elements such as iron, calcium, and oxygen into space, enriching the interstellar medium and potentially aiding in the formation of new stars and planets. Supernova and what comes after. Supernovae are essential for the creation of the elements that make up the planets, including our own Earth. After a supernova, the star's outer layers are blown into space, while the core may collapse into a neutron star or, if massive enough, become a black hole. Betelgeuse is large enough that, when it explodes, it could leave behind a neutron star, a dense remnant of its core. Even though Betelgeuse's eventual supernova would be an awe-inspiring event, there's no reason to be alarmed. This event is likely to happen within the next 100,000 years, 
so we won't be around to witness it. Even if it were to explode tomorrow, the distance between Betelgeuse and Earth is so vast that it wouldn't pose any danger to our planet.